Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how non-returning players can receive the exclusive content on the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5 that returning players have received. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now as I'm sure you guys know, when Grand Theft Auto 5 was first released on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, returning players who previously had Grand Theft Auto 5 on an Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 had the opportunity to receive some exclusive content. And of course this content is also available for returning players who transition from consoles to the PC version of the game. Being displayed in the video right now is an image of a game poster that features all the exclusive content available for returning players, and as you can see the items such as the Impity Duke of Death, the Railgun and Hatchet, the Martial Monster Truck, and loads of other things as well. So there are certainly some very cool items and features which non-returning players are missing out on. But do not worry, there is now a way of receiving all of this exclusive content even if you're not a returning player. And surprisingly, it is a very simple process. So to begin with, what you simply want to do is download the exclusive content. And to do that, I will have a link in the description where you can download the required files. Now once you have all that downloaded, go into your documents folder, then go to Rockstar Games, then go to the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and in Profiles, you now want to copy and paste or drag and drop all the files which you just downloaded and you want to put them into this folder. And that's literally all there is to it. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and close all the folders and you can reload Grand Theft Auto 5 on your PC and the content will now be available to you in story mode. So there we go, if you're a non-returning player and you want to get yourself the exclusive content available for returning players, you can now do so by using this very quick and easy process. Now bearing in mind these items are only available in story mode, they are not available online whatsoever, but even so, they are some very cool items which you can have some fun with when playing in story mode. Now I'm sure there are quite a few people watching this video right now and wondering whether you can get banned for doing this, and the answer is no, you cannot. Well with that being said, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope this video has helped you guys out. If you could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot, so it's also greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video, and let me know your thoughts about this content, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.